driving to meet someone super important. Oh, I know! We can drive this fancy train to meet someone super important at a sparkly castle to eat a super fancy dinner! Ho! Ho! It's Ollie! Hello, Luca! Ho! Ho! Going somewhere important, are you? Oh, hi, Ollie! 
My train is so cool. I want to drive it someplace awesome and fancy. That's a great idea. It's true. But places that aren't fancy can be important, too. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Follow me through, follow me through who? Oz got a Bible story for me and you. Oh, <laughs> hello friends. Merry almost Christmas to you. I'm Carrie the dog walker and this is my best dog, <coughs> sorry, best train conducting assistant, Stormy Jane. And we want to know if you're ready to learn the next part of the true story of Christmas. <laughs> I think that means Stormy's ready. Well, the Christmas train is coming to help me tell today's true story from the Bible. If you're ready to board the Christmas story train, on the count of three, say, all aboard. Ready? One, two, three. All aboard! The true story of Christmas begins with a young girl named Mary. God sent an angel with an important message for Mary. The angel said that Mary was going to have a baby and that baby would be Jesus, God's son. Wow, God loves us so much that he gave us his son, Jesus. Well, not long after that, Mary and Joseph had to travel a long way to the town of Bethlehem. Can you guess what animal Mary might have been riding? There's Joseph. And Mary, Stormy Jane, you're not supposed to be in the story, silly dog. Back up, let's try that again. So there's Joseph and Mary. And what animal is Mary riding? Yes, a donkey, that's right. Can everyone say, hee-haw, hee-haw. Ready? Hee-haw, hee-haw. Very good. When Mary and Joseph got to Bethlehem, they needed to find a place to stay in quick. Jesus, God's son, was about to be born. Now tell me, is Jesus being born a little special or a big whole lot of special? Yes, Jesus being born is a big whole lot of special. So where did Mary and Joseph stay? Did they stay somewhere fancy like a giant castle? No. Or did they stay somewhere not fancy, like a stable full of animals? Yep, that's where they stayed. It wasn't fancy. <laughs> what was that? A chicken? Can you make a sound like a chicken? <laughs> and that's not all. There were sheep. Can you make a sheep sound? Ba. Ready? Ba. Wait. Everybody stop and listen. Shh. What's that sound? It's not a sheep. What is it? Yes, it's a baby. Baby Jesus was born. And Mary wrapped him up and she placed him in a manger full of straw. Jesus, God's son, had been born. God gave us Jesus. Oh, that's the whistle. It means it's time for the Christmas story train to leave. But it'll be back because there's more to the true story of Christmas. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Ollie, tell me, how do we know God loves us? God gave us Jesus. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, how do we know God loves us? God gave us Jesus. That's the truth, friends. See you next time. Bye. So there's your story, and it's all true. Jesus wasn't born somewhere fancy, but he's the most special gift for me and you. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, Jesus wasn't born somewhere fancy, but Jesus is special because Jesus is God's son. God loves us so much, he gave us Jesus. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good. I don't have to drive somewhere fancy for it to still be special. So, all aboard. See you next time. 
Chugga 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 choo choo! God loved the world so much that He gave His only Son, John 3.16. God loved the world so much that He gave His only Son, John 3.16.